Hey guys, remember this game Road Rash? Let's pause here for a moment and put you, the viewer, in the driver's seat. If you were playing this game right now, what would be your next move? If you said move right or move left, then you probably saw the oncoming car here and thought you really need to avoid bumping into it. By the way, did you notice that your bike speed is over 100 miles an hour while making this decision? Probably not because that bit of information is not useful to the current task at hand, which is to avoid hitting the car. In some other scenario, like while you are making a sharp curve, the speed information is probably useful to making the right decision, like using the brakes of your bike. The point is, when you have access to all of this information on your screen all of the time, you only use a small part of it to accomplish the current task at hand. In other words, you shift your attention around the screen based on what is most important in the moment. The reason I am talking about this is because I want to introduce to you today a new paper that incorporates this attention mechanism into training reinforcement learning agents and provides evolutionary learning method for the same. It is titled Neuroevolution of Self-Interpretable Agents and is published by researchers at Google in Japan. The key idea presented here is to incorporate the attention mechanism into processing input image by dividing it into multiple patches, let's say n number of patches. Then we assign importance to these patches with a self-attention mechanism which, in a way, defines how information-rich that particular patch is. Next, we use a learnable module that performs the task of picking up k number of patches out of n total patches. Here, we are forcing our agent to only focus on a small number of patches so it can turn a blind eye towards less important ones that are not crucial in decision making. And we call this method attention bottleneck. This learnable module that selects k patches from n can be trained with evolutionary algorithms since it is not clear how we can apply a differentiable learning method like backpropagation. The positive result of using attention bottleneck is that it simplifies our RL agent's network architecture and is also more generalizable since it ignores unnecessary details in the input image. The results presented in this method are fascinating and it is easy to visualize the top K patches that go into decision making. As you can see in the car racing game here, this RL agent focuses on the bend or the curve of the street in order to make driving decisions, which is represented by the white patches shown here. Of course, the challenge here is to learn which k patches out of the n are important in the current scenario and the authors provide failure cases regarding that, like shown here where the attention of our agent is diverted to non-essential parts of the image, leading to our car veering off the street. In any case, this is a really cool idea for different tasks in machine learning and especially for reinforcement learning where complex decision making is involved while observing information loaded images of the game as input. Perhaps this work would be ideal for experimenting with my football AI agent. What do you guys think?